cell shape and size. In both plants and animals, there are different types of cells. Cells with different functions often have different shapes that match their jobs. Animals have red blood cells. These cells must travel quickly through small tubes. So they are shaped like balls that have been squeezed in the middle. Another type of animal cell is a nerve cell. These send signals to and from our brains. These signals must often travel long distances. Nerve cells are usually long and skinny. You may think that large cells are better than small cells. Actually, the opposite is true. If cells get too big, then they cannot function well. A larger surface area means that there is more area for substances to enter and exact cell, exit cells. A smaller inside area means that substances have a smaller distance to travel to get from one side of a cell to the other. Cell Membranes Plant and animal cells are surrounded by a cell membrane. The cell membrane is flexible. It, it acts like the gatekeeper of a cell. It controls what goes in and out of cells. Some substances move easily through the cell membrane. Other substances cannot move through it. The cell membrane of a plant cell is surrounded by a cell wall. Cell walls are not as flexible as cell membranes. They are stronger than cell membranes. They help to support plants. When you water a plant, the plant moves water into its cells. The cell membrane pushes against the cell wall. The cell wall is rigid. It limits the size of plant cell. Animal cells do not have cell walls. If an animal cell receives too much water, the cell will burst. It is like a balloon that is filled with too much air. Robert Brown. Robert Brown was born in Scotland. He was a botanist. He spent years in Australia. He collected plants. He identified over 2,000 new plant species. A number of plant species have been named after him. Brown made many notable discoveries in the field of cell bi biology. He studied orchid and other plants. He found that all plant cells had a round structure in the middle of the cell. He named it a nucleus. Later, scientists found that the nucleus controls a cell's activities. It holds the cell's DNA and gives instructions on what proteins the cell should make. Moving in and out of cells. Substances must travel in and out of cells. Diffusion is one way that substances can do so. It does not require any energy. Diffusion is when substances move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. It is like dra dropping food coloring into a cup of water. When you first drop it, it stays in one bowl. But in time, it spreads through out the water. All of the water gets colored. The color moves from an area of a high concentration to a low one. Diffusion is usually a slow process. Sometimes it is made easier by proteins. They make a channel through the cell membrane. This kind of diffusion is called facilitated diffusion.